Hello my dearest students, in this video, I will show you how to construct a box and whisker plot, histogram, pie chart, scatter plot, and a line chart using Google Sheet. But before that, please like this video and please support me by subscribing to my channel. Let us start. First, let us go to the Google Classroom and create a Google Sheet and a Google Slide so that you can present your graph later on. Actually, I prepared a Google Sheet already. I put all the grades. And the first graph that we will be doing is box and whisker plots. And we need this four components. The minimum, the quartile 1, quartile 3, and the maximum so i will name this one as the data set so to find the minimum just type mean and it will come out the mean or minimum value in a numeric data set click it and drag starting from the first grade up to the last which is 70 and don't forget to put close parenthesis and there you go and the minimum value is 45 or the lowest grade from the data set. How about quartile 1 equals sign type quar and quartile value nearest the specific quartile of the data set. Click that and again start from the first grade until the last. And please do not forget to put comma. And since we are finding for quartile 1, Press 1 and close parenthesis and your quartile 1 is 67.75. How about quartile 3? It's the same. Start with the equal sign. Type quartile. Click it and start from the first grade and drag it until the last. And do not forget to put comma and 3 for quartile 3 and close parenthesis and we have 89 for our quartile 3 and lastly equal sign type max for the maximum value start from 89 drag it to 70 and close parenthesis and your maximum value or the highest grade from the given data set is 100 again in graphing box and whisker plots, you need the minimum, quartile 1, quartile 3, and the maximum value. So since we already have all the values needed to create box and whisker plot, let us start. First, highlight data set until the last number maximum. After that, click insert. Go down and find for chart. Here is the chart. And once you click that, it will automatically create a histogram. But we need a box and whisker plot. Now, go to column chart. You could see the line chart, the area chart, the column, the bar, the pie, the scatter, the map, others, and under other look for the candlestick chart and this is our box and whisker plot click it and there you go here is your box and whisker plot you could see the data set 45 167.75 and 89 now i want you to present that and put it on google slide so let us copy and paste this in our Google slide and you could see the link to spreadsheet yes and there you go you can put this at the center and you can actually um, adjust this and put it in the middle but do not forget to put a title so this is box and whisker plot of the grades in statistics and there you go if you want to put this at the center it's up to you so just click center and that's it also you can change the color of this if you want to but it is okay if we have 
that. Next, create a histogram. Go back to the spreadsheet. I will delete this. And this is very simple. Just highlight all the grades. Go to insert, chart, and go to column chart and find for the histogram. And histogram can be found at others again. And histogram is here. Click it. This is the histogram of the grades. Now, you can actually customize this since the first graph is blue. I want to change this one to a different color. You can actually play on this and look for whatever customization that you can do. So the first one was blue and I want to make this red. So just play with this so that you can customize your graph. And then I will copy this and paste it here. So this is my second and paste and there you go. So since this is a histogram, I will just change the name to the histogram of the grades in statistics. And let us duplicate this so that we will be ready for the third graph. Next, let us have a pie chart. Again, same process. Go to insert, chart, column chart, and go here. And you could see pie chart, donut chart, and 3D pie chart. So I will choose this one and there you go. So I will copy and paste this to my Google slide. So this will now be the pie chart of the grades of 10 students in statistics. Next, create a scatter plot. Same process. Let's just delete this and then insert, chart, column chart, find for the scatter. And here we go. And that's it. So if you want to change the color, customize it, go to series and change the color to whatever color that you want to. So let me make this one green and then copy and paste it here. So let's delete and attach and there you go. Just change the title to scatter blood and lastly line chart same process insert chart column chart and we have a line chart smooth line chart and combo so let us click this if you want to customize you can change the color to whichever color you want to and you can also put a circle and if you want to change it to triangle it's up to you but let's put a circle if you want to change the kind of line it's okay but since this is a line let us make this one so for the color you can actually change it if you want to so just play with it and let us copy and paste it here and let's put it at the center and this is a line chart of the grades of 10 students also if you want to change the theme it's up to you you can actually put background and if you want a plain one it's okay it's your choice and then you can actually present it and here you go this is a graphical presentation of the grades of 10 students in statistics the first one is using the box and whisker plot the histogram the pie chart the scatter plot and the line chart 
of the grades in statistics. So, if you've learned something from me today, please consider yourself subscribe and don't forget to like and share this video. And thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Bye! Mm -hmm.